Governor Bobby Jindal has less than two weeks to fill two open seats on the Greater Baton Rouge Port Commission. A ruling by the State Ethics Board has forced out two port commissioners who were grain farmers who also do business with the port, namely the Cargill Grain Elevator. As This Week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine tells us, one of those ousted members is shocked that he can no longer serve on the Port Commission. It's not uncommon to see trucks filled with wheat lined up outside of Cargill at the Port of Greater Baton Rouge. After all, Cargill has been a tenant of the port for the last 50 years. Two farmers, Brady Hurdle and Donald Shecksnatter, sell their grain to Cargill and at the time served on the Greater Baton Rouge Port Commission, which governs the port and negotiates contracts with tenants like Cargill. An opinion released last week by the Louisiana Board of Ethics says those two farmers cannot serve on the commission and do business with Cargill. Cargill's lease is up for renewal next year. It was officials with Cargill who raised questions about a possible conflict of interest. Before last week's meeting, Hurdle resigned his seat on the commission. State Senator Rob Mariano recommended Hurdle for the appointment. He spoke on Hurdle's behalf. Anything that might be forthcoming with Mr. Hurdle, and I'm sure the same will apply to the two Palm Bureau members, um, falls on my shoulders. I asked them to serve. They put forth their names. I thought it to be a good idea that we have persons involved in the business to serve. Apparently, the Board of Ethics feels otherwise. Donald Shecksnyder's father sells grain to Cargill. However, Donald is listed as a contact person for his father's marketing company, Shecksnyder Grains. Donald says at least one member of the commission has been a farmer since the commission was formed. Now, shocked at the ethics board decision, his decision is clear. I probably will resign because I don't want to make a big deal out of it right now. It's, uh, I got to get back to farming. It's, uh, it, the ethics ruled on it, so, uh, Unless they come back with something soon, I guess I'll probably be resigning. Port Executive Director Jay Harbin says ethics rules do not allow commissioners to recuse themselves from issues that may be potential conflicts of interest. You cannot have a contractual relationship, a prohibitive contractual relationship with a port tenant. With two seats on the port commission empty, Governor Bobby Jindal will have to scramble to get new appointees through the confirmation process. That means they must be approved before the legislative session ends June 25th. In Port Allen, I'm A.J. Sabine for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. Donald Schecksneider resigned his seat the day after the meeting. No charges or fines for ethics violations have been brought against Schecksneider or Hurdle. If you'd like to read the opinion of the Louisiana Board of Ethics, you can log on to our website, twilatv.org.